Julianne. And Julianne, yeah. just hold right. Straight ahead. Right. Just straight ahead, Julianne. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Hello, Hello, right. 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 Hi, Hi, right. 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 Over the shoulder, Kyle. Kyle, 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 to relive a lot of those memories but the work they do is fantastic and any any help that we can offer people who are currently suffering or you know, sadly the people who will be diagnosed in the future it's really important it's some it, it, cancer can affect any and all of us and, and it, it affects probably more people than it doesn't affect so the more knowledge there is the more support there is I think the most important thing about tonight is being the Courage Award, I think it's a little easier to be brave when there's hope. And the more hope we have that your journey can be made a little bit easier or that you know perhaps we won't have to be having this conversation in the future, just do it. There's, there, I mean, it's a very simple message. Everyone's busy, no one has time. You think it's not gonna happen to you, but they're there for a good reason, so make the time. I mean, it's such a great honor, and it's always so flattering when they think about you. But also, they are doing, they are giving me something very special because of Nat King Cole, which I had a great admirer, and also because these, you know, causes are very close to my heart. I've been working with the Key to the Cure with Saxis Tavino for many years. It's so important if everybody works together because uh, I don't know any house that hasn't touched Can I get the two of you with, uh, with that disease, you know? And I think it's, uh, it's very important to have the awareness and women not to be frightened to go to the doctors and find out because they can be saved. Uh, you know, there isn't a family alive that hasn't been touched by cancer in some way, whether it's, you know, a personal, direct family member, an extended family member, a relative, a, a, a person through marriage. Uh, we've all had those experiences. My personal one is that my aunt died of breast cancer, but also my dear friend Nancy Short died of ovarian cancer. And uh, she has, uh, you know, she was an extraordinary person who did all the right things. She had um, prophylactic mastectomy when she was quite young and uh, she did not uh, have a hysterectomy and eventually she found out that she was a BRCA uh, positive breast cancer and that was what ended up kind of being in her ovarian um, cancer diagnosis so yeah look I really hope that we're much closer to finding a biomarker you know a simple blood test that could tell you if you are uh, have the disease have the gene for the disease something like that would be really great and uh, we just keep raising money until we find this cure. Women's cancers run in my family and so um, it's important for me to support the cause. And we lost my aunt last year so yeah. I think everybody is really aware now. Um, I, I don't think there's many women who need more education. I think what we need are more access to mammograms at a cheaper cost 
I think we need to um, work on the gene program and really look into that deeper because I think, you know, they, they know the BRCA, but there's got to be others. And it shouldn't be so costly, again. Um, and, and then I think we need to get out into the communities and get women screened. And it shouldn't be expensive either. I mean, again, it's just, to me, education is done. Let's get into action now. Let's help people at a cost that's that's affordable, or get people the care they need. Um, well, I mean, obviously the cause is so incredible, and um, you know, being uh, Jamie Tish is a very good friend of mine, and and I think it's absolutely astounding what uh, you know all of the women that that helped create this organization. I think it's amazing what they've done. Ironically enough, um, our at work today we lost a, a makeup artist. To cancer, um, yeah, this this morning. So it's it was very interesting, um, you know, to have this be here and, and all the the segue and, and the headway that they've made and, and all the way down to you know being able to take breast cancer through a blood test now, you know, and yet it, it's it it just it seems so prevalent and important because you know it's still out there. So I'm I'm absolutely thrilled to be a part of this and and I'm thrilled that they're still plugging away and trying to eradicate. You know, it's just. It's just a ridiculous and horrible disease. It really is. It's so awful. Tonight is devoted solely to raising money for research for women's cancer. So if you're a man with cancer, I don't know what to tell you. I guess just pack up your one ball and exit the room. We will be honoring two remarkable women. The Nat King Cole Award is being given to legendary designer Carolina Herrera. And the Courage Award is being presented to a music superstar who used her battle with cancer to educate the world, Ms. Kylie Minogue. And now, who better to speak about what this organization accomplishes and also to honor some great ladies than some other great ladies. Please welcome the greatest girl group in medical history, the honorary chairs of the Women's Cancer Research Fund, Kate Capshaw and Rita Wilson. We, we don't want to say that we don't miss Tom and Stephen being here, but uh, we just have to say that we're proud to have sisters doing it for themselves. Mm -hmm. um, we're here to tell you very briefly about the achievements of the WCRF, and with your continued support, we have funded groundbreaking cancer research and awareness programs for women in the battle against cancer. As you know, together we can be proud of these achievements, which are EIF, the Entertainment Industry Foundation, and the WCRF, Women's Cancer Research Foundation, Breast Cancer Biomarker Discovery Project. That's a lot of things to say. For more than three decades, the name Carolina Herrera has been synonymous with effortless elegance and excellence. This woman known as fashion's first lady once said, I have a responsibility to the woman of today to make her confident, modern, and above all else, beautiful. That's so nice. Thank you, Carolina. But we're here also tonight because beyond making our world a more beautiful place, Carolina also feels a responsibility to help others. For instance, she has served as an ambassador to the American Cancer Society, as well as the Intergovernmental Institution in the Fight Against Malnutrition. Carolina also designed, and I loved this t-shirt so much, our Key to a Cure t-shirt, which helped us raise millions of dollars for this cause that means so much to so many of us here tonight. So now it, was, it, it is with our privilege to invite to the stage the 2013 recipient of the Nat King Cole Award, Miss... You want to say it? Carolina Herrera. Carolina Herrera. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What a great pleasure and honor it is for me to receive the Nat King Cole Award tonight for this cause that is so close to my heart. I'm very proud to support the EIF and the Women's Cancer Research Fund through Key to the Cure with Saks Fifth Avenue. Thank you, Jamie Tish and Steve Sadov for including me in this very glamorous evening. In 2005, Kylie was diagnosed with breast cancer, and she faced a big and painful choice. She could hide and play victim, or she could fight and use her own battle to raise consciousness around the world. By sharing her experience with her cancer diagnosis and successful treatment, which I think needs applauding, <laughs> 
Kylie has become a heroine who helped countless women. In fact, she helped create what many around the world called the Kylie Effect, which encouraged countless young women everywhere to get checked and take better care of themselves. That's pretty amazing. That's powerful. Um, thank you so much. It's so great to be here. And it is a very pleasant evening. Not only unforgettable, but pleasant. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, as I'm sure you're all more than aware, cancer is a great equalizer. It doesn't care who you are, your race, your religion, whether you're wealthy, poor, famous, infamous, not looking at anyone, a Hollywood powerhouse, or an Aussie performer. When there is a diagnosis, it's fair to say it rocks your world. So much so that I don't like to take myself back to thinking about that time. But in thinking about what to say this evening, which I stressed about for an entire week, um, I thought about courage, obviously. And I was reminded how much courage was around me at the time when I needed it. I wasn't so much thinking about myself, but I did remind myself that I had a bit as well. But I mean courage from my parents, my brother, my sister, boyfriend, friends, um, fans, and any courage I displayed was aided because of their strength and belief and support. The epic task of being brave is made that bit easier when there is hope. And that's what you're all helping to do here this evening by supporting the EIF, WCRF. I said it. I was sure I was going to mess that bit up. <laughs> You're helping doctors and scientists in their essential research to help treat and, let's hope, eventually cure cancer. And that gives people hope, people who really need it today and those who, unfortunately, at this stage, will need it tomorrow. I am one of the lucky ones. Sadly, many others, despite their immense courage, we're not as fortunate. So it's an honor to be able to hold this this evening and I can only accept it thinking of how many other people out there are being courageous, have been and will be tomorrow. And thank you for the support of this evening. The hosts, the benefactors, it's amazing and I shall treasure this. Thank you very much. <laughs> 